Hi, I'm Sam Witten, and I'm an REEU intern in the plant pathology department. I am working in Dr. Brian McCornack's lab, and my project is machine learning with lady beetles and computers. So right now I'm feeding images into a computer to see how well it identifies lady beetles. I'm using images that imitate drone camera captured images out in the field with a similar camera. So we are using a GoPro. However, instead of taking them out in the field, we've just pinned nine specimens of three different species of beetle onto a background and have just taken various pictures at different heights. And we are feeding those images into the computer model and seeing how well it does on accuracy. And then we are taking that data and comparing it to how humans test against it. In that test, I give the people a document with three photos of the three different beetles with their scientific names. I let them look at it for 45 seconds. I'd have them open up a folder on the computer with 54 different pictures of the three different species and they went through and identified as best they could. I timed them and then I calculated their accuracy afterwards. And then once I finish kind of training the computer model, I'll take that data and compare the two. This is what the accuracy graph is supposed to look like. So this top line is the training set, and then this bottom line is the test set. So the training set that I give it, it splits it into two groups, another training set and another test set. So it's an 80-20 split. It goes through all the training photos first, and then it goes through the testing photos to see how well it did, and that's how I get this data. So the better the test line imitates the training line and the closer they are together, the better it is. So this is kind of a first step of the larger focus of the project, but the main goal of this is to figure out if images taken from a drone camera can be used in a computer model so that the computer can identify them. Since lady beetles are natural enemies of aphids, one of the testing points would be to see if they are a strong indicator of aphid populations. So if a section of field was found with these insects in it, then instead of having to spray the entire field in pesticides, farmers can just concentrate their efforts on that one small area. That way it saves them money, it's better for the environment, you don't have as much runoff, so it's just kind of overall more efficient and better for people, farmers, and the environment.